Russian President Vladimir Putin has congratulated Xi Jinping on his presidency. Putin said the election results reflect the confidence the Chinese people have in President Xi's leadership, his contributions to the country and to development in the world. He said he looked forward to closer ties between the two countries. Our reporter Zhou Yun has been speaking to NPC deputies who said the re-election of Xi Jinping as the head of the country and the military reflected the will of the people. Long and continuous applause to the newly elected leadership. A unanimous vote shows that people's strong support and willingness to elect Xi Jinping as the country's president as well as chairman of the Central Military Commission. I feel very excited today to witness this historic moment. This is a choice made by the country's people, the party and military. A great nation needs a great leader to guide the country forward. We felt so inspired and stood up voluntarily to applaud. This is the aspiration of all the members of the military. We will uphold the CPC's absolute leadership and enhance our combat capability in order to best serve the people and the party. China has made great achievements in the past five years. The economy expanded to become the world's second largest, and over 1,500 reform measures were introduced by central authorities. In addition, issues most pressing to the people, such as anti-corruption and environmental protection, were addressed. Many NPC deputies told CGTN that they are confident they will see even greater changes in the coming years. We have seen the improved preservation and communication of our intangible cultural heritage, so we want to thank President Xi and the government for their efforts on cultural promotion. We have witnessed many improvements since the 19th National Congress of the CPC, so we respect and adore our leaders and their efforts. We believe that President Xi will lead our nation to even greater prosperity. In the following five years, yeah, you can say I I am sure, I am certain that China will become stronger, stronger. China will become better and better. In the past five years, China has not only achieved steady growth, but also created a model to advance civilization. And now the country is expected to be even closer to the Chinese dream of national rejuvenation under the leadership of President Xi in the years ahead. So you, Xi Jinping, Beijing. Let's get you more now on that. CGTN's Jin Keo joins us live from Beijing. Uh, Jin, Xi Jinping has been elected as China's president and as chairman of the country's Central Military Commission. What more can you tell us about this? Well, Penina, that President Xi was elected with a to these two positions with 100% of the vote goes to show the amount of confidence and overwhelming support he has from the National People's Congress. And of course, this is in sharp contrast to his election in 2013, where there was one vote against his election and three abstentions. And when he took his, he took his oath this morning, part of it, of course, included the, um, his allegiance to the Constitution. And listen to this, Penina, he also, he also said he would be working for what he describes as a great modern socialist country um, that is prosperous, that is strong, that is democratic, culturally advanced, um, harmonious and beautiful. And given that this is the man who's widely uh, credited with China's current economic and global success, you'd say that um, this is a country that is well on its way to achieving all this. Penina? And Jane, world leaders, among them Russian President Vladimir Putin, have been congratulating Xi Jinping. How is his leadership likely to impact global affairs going forward? Well, we certainly, um, we are bound to certainly see China continuing to make um, its mark globally. Um, don't forget that President, President Xi has been the driver of the, car, of the country's um, foreign policy over the last five years. And of course, his second term comes in when there are a number of issues um, globally and regionally. The DPRK, we've got the South China Sea issue. Um, we've got relations with the United States. Not forgetting the deep ties with Africa. This September, we've got a very important meeting that will be happening 
happening here in um, in China, the, the Forum on China-Africa Cooperation. Also, Penina, the election of uh, Wang Kishang as his deputy is key for his global agenda. Don't forget that Wang is one of his most trusted allies. He is a very important political advisor. He comes in also at a time when there are tense relations uh, with the United States. Um, there are this talk of a looming trade war. And Wang has been described as an amazing economist. Of course, he's played a major role in President Xi Jinping's administration over the last five years, including being in the forefront in that anti-corruption drive that has so far punished 1.5 million people over the last five years. Penina? All right, let's leave it there for now. Jin Keo, live in Beijing. Thank you.